Hi. So here's 10-ish things. We'll see how it goes with time. That as an entry-level software engineer, I want you to do to make like coming in as an entry-level a little bit better. So the first thing, let us set up our development environment because like something's gonna get messed up and you're gonna need to know where IT is. I forgot my password on the first day, so like, you know, life happens. So making sure that you know where it is is really helpful. As well as like know where all the guides are lacking so that way you can make it better in the future because new developers are the ones who find all the issues. The second thing, walk through the design process. So that way you can end up learning what parts of their workflow that they did in the past while working through your workflow because you hired them because you wanna get some bit of knowledge out of them and then have them be productive for your company. So try and get as much as you can now. The third thing, walk through the code structure. Code is weird, everyone does it differently. Explain the legacy code, explain the third party code, explain the past conventions versus the current conventions and how it kind of can look different as you're going through as well as the current shortcomings. Um, and then explain the weird code things because everybody has them and they exist everywhere. So explain those gotchas that you were like, that's weird. So that way when they see that that's weird, it's not like, oh what? It's like you kind of warn them about it. Cool. The next thing, explain the why. So explain kind of the evolution of how the code got to the point where it is because end of the day, the evolution is really important to understanding why the decisions that we make now are the decisions that we're gonna continue to make. Um, and this applies to every single part of the process. Next, show that end result, because end of the day, when you know how your code's going to end up running and you're able to replicate that behavior on the outside, you're going to do it 100% of the time. But if it's the first time that you've walked through using the application, you're suddenly gonna run into every single button where it makes sense to the developer or someone who's used it before, but it makes no sense to you. So use that as an advantage in order to find those issues as well as their developers so they can end up fixing those issues or documenting them in the correct place to do so. Okay. Up next, assign a task that spans the code base. So this is really helpful because it allows you to see the code everywhere. So that when you get a later task, it's, oh, well, I've at least already seen that code, so you kind of know what other people are talking about. And this is helpful because it could be a maintenance task that no one's wanted to go through the whole code base to fix. Cool. Up next, assign feature work. So feature work makes you feel valuable because it makes it feel like you aren't just doing the maintenance. It's not, it's like your whole purpose isn't just to fix bugs. It's like, I'm doing something to be going forward to helping the product move forward. So this is helpful because it helps with value, making you feel valuable, as well as allowing you to interact and see how new development works, as new development and old development can be a little bit different. Cool. And then invite us to offsite things. There's a lot of things that happen offsite, such as going on a walk or going to lunch or even doing like volleyball. So like invite us to those because that way we can end up getting involved. You know who we are and that makes everybody feel a little bit better. And that way they're actually a part of the team. Cool. And then my last thing, or is it? Yeah. And then my last thing is get to know and invest in us. You hired us for a reason. So like take advantage of that, get to know who we are and you want them to be as valuable as they want to be. So give them that opportunity to be there. Cool.